So my daughter just asked what are my videos about. It's good to explain. That's my daughter running away out of embarrassment. And uh, it's good to explain the, about uh, ways to be happy in life. So here's uh, another thing to say. I'm, I like showing around what everybody, all the kiddies are doing. There's all these lovely trees uh, that we eat from, sage and mint and lemon and whatever. One day I have to get around to uh, showing you each of them maybe. That would be interesting. There's the chickens. It's a, it's a little farm there. Oh, that's the one that uh, has the lemon smell. Wow, it's really, really nice. Oh gosh, it's like a really strong mint lemon taste. I mean, smell uh, as if it's coming from a sweet. Like it's really sugary smell. It's really cool. Anyway, so the lesson today coming off from yeah, or lesson today, my idea or whatever. Um, yesterday was about relationships. I kind of want to show you the house as I'm talking. Um, and today, it's following on from that. Uh, what was the word I was thinking of? Compromise is the key to relationships. But that sounds really boring, right? If you've got this romantic idea about relationships where everybody just expresses themselves and, you know, there's no compromise, it's all extremes. What happens? Why compromise, and not compromise in a boring way, not compromising really your values, but compromising on the stuff that kind of doesn't matter, and your ego, uh, if you don't listen, to, if you don't compromise, you're giving in to your ego, which makes you do short-term stuff. So basically, um, compromise so that you can focus on doing the cool stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff is another way of saying compromise actually. So don't make a big deal about all the small silly things that, okay we're surrounded by, we have to, relationships are about dealing with human beings and human beings generally do crazy stuff. We're still pretty as crazy as we are when we're small, when we're big. We do more big crazy stuff. We get emotional, we will fight, we, our ego tells us we want this and that, we spend our whole lives chasing stuff we don't need, so that's pretty, pretty crazy. Anyway, so compromise is good.